and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fizz Diana. That's right, we're going to be playing an aggressive deck that's going to be winning with elusives. Of course, Fizz is elusive, but then we're also going to have some cards like Zap Spray Fin, Slippery Wave Rider, and the brand new Lounging Lizard. Going to try this one out in here, being a good elusive threat. For those, we're going to be able to pump them up. We're going to have Pocket Aces and Mentor the Stones be able to pump them up. Oh yeah, Lunari Shadestalker also being Nightfall with the elusive. And our other Nightfall that, that can grant elusive is, we'll give it for one turn, Cygnus the Moonstalker. So lots of ways to have elusive. We got some pump in here. Um, and so we're just gonna be trying to outrace opponents. Diana just does a great job of controlling the board, being a removal spell. And then plus, if we're playing a lot of these Nightfall cards, we can level up Diana and we can pump it up pretty big and give it elusive with the Cygnus. So that's a, another good way to uh, finish it out games we got this astral protection in here that could be pretty awesome with lounging lizard right like if, if lounging lizard has taken you know done the deal two damage to me twice it's a three one and then boom we heal at four and then grant it plus zero plus four so then it just makes it so it's really hard to kill the lounging lizard um so that's a that's a neat little combo i like that one um but yeah that's our deck so let's give it a try we're gonna go play our five games in ranked and let's see how we do with fizz diana Yay, different deck. Scouts are really good. It's not gonna be an easy win. This, is, this will definitely be a tough game to win, but playing against something different. Our hand is just pretty decent. It's perfectly fine. Let's get rid of the warning shot. We don't really need that without Fizz. But we'll just keep our one drops and I like the card advantage that Sprayfin can provide. Ours is the one true light. Punish transgressions. All right, well, well, we'll get our warning shot back. So we could warning shot and then turn on the elusive with Lunari Shadestalker. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. All right, we're just going to lead with the Duskbringer. We're just going to go with that. Their sense travels on the night air. This lets me play both of these Nightfall cards. These Shade Stalkers this turn. Um, they do get like a, you know, they could play a good blocker. Gets golden glory. Unseen, Jaw Hunters. It's not exactly what I was expecting. It's our time. Drill him in. Sharp Sight's good against our elusives. These warning shots don't look so good. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Yeah, the warning shots do not look so good. Keep up, keep up. That card looks good. Set the hook. Warning shot is a you know nice effective way to turn on Nightfall. Love ya. So I could just go right to combat, have Pill Cascade, be able to help trade up and kill Misfortune. Or we go with the Diana. Let's go with the Diana. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish, Moon Sister. So Diana's at three out of four. So whenever we play Pale Cascade, that's gonna level up Diana, and so Diana will just be at three three right then. So I don't necessarily need to target Diana with the Pale Cascade because it will be a 3-3. Um, but we still could to make sure that like if they have sharp sights, it's not um, it's not saving their misfortune. But if we would have gone with the Pale Cascade on any one of these three, then we'd be you know maybe putting them down to two where we got a warning shot. Alright, so they're at four. I gotta show you the sights of Bilgewater. The sights are fine. The smells, on the other hand. I like this lounging lizard. 
They forced us to choose death or the blade. I like that. The guiding touch does a good job healing the lounging lizard after it takes damage. Yeah, so this is a this was a uh, viewer submitted donation deck. That's what the two D's up here mean. So I don't, as far as like why not any specific card. I don't know. It's what it was what was, what was submitted. Just like hunting thresher geese. Hey, silky mitts. <clears throat> Alright, hoping this works. Because they. Still ooh, they're challenging over here. Game. Wasn't exactly expecting that. It's another repose. Perfect. Love ya. Great fizz draw. I think we played an Ezreal deck recently, but I'm not exactly sure. Let's do this. It's our time. But I think so. That's far enough. So that should be spell number six to level up Fizz. And you're basically just making both of these lethal with the warning shot. GG's. All right, one and up. Good job, Fizz. All right, I like it. It's not Karma or Trundle, so I'm I'm happy. Yeah, and this is going to be one where the elusives are going to be very, very important because we're not going to be able to do any damage on the ground. They're very good at blocking. So keeping Bastion to stop. Oh, you're all so cute. Um, I honestly don't know if I'm supposed to be playing that there or just waiting a turn. Yeah, maybe I should have been waiting. Um, because you know we're, I'm not attacking into this O3. Bashing can can uh, stop like one of Tom Kench's things. Maybe. Yeah, Cabo's probably away from Keys right now. He's been here most of the day. Maybe I should be going lounging, lounging Lizard instead. Nah. Yeah, I yeah I really liked the Shipwreck Soloist deck. That was really fun. I thought. That was a really fun deck to play. That's that's my favorite deck today for sure. Let's go, Osu. And of course we're not blocking. Well, that's rude. Shakedown's a good idea with this deck though. Force people to block. It's a great idea. I just let this happen. So those things, of course, are going to be vulnerable with, well, where they will be able to challenge them all the time. Not getting too much attune value. 
master the power of the stars. Master your healing. I'm trying, but they keep wandering off. Alright, down to eight. The star child. I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Vin. Alright, so we're gonna have to do eleven damage next turn. Just I guess fourteen damage. Okay, that's probably doable, especially with the Cygnus. Probably doable. Take heart. Well, I think they should be supporting the 2 4. I would think. The Star Chuck. I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Vin. 17 damage. With purpose. We look after our own. Yep. That's, that's my time. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm making this easy. Alright, so right now we have 4, 6, 8, 11. So they need like a hush to stay alive. So if it's you know hush is burst speed, so I can't stop hush with Bastion. Stars, yeah, I would say I'm a Demacia player. Yeah. Live with purpose. I feel better when you feel better. Whatever the cost. Oh, you done. Alright, so do I want to keep Bastion available to stop? Like, what is Bastion stopping? Probably, I guess not much. I guess it's better just, it's probably better just to play Lounging Lizard. Because, like, Hush is probably their interaction, right? Like, where I can't stop Hush. It's probably better just to play another Lounging Lizard. Drawing. Okay, there we go. GG's. Elusive's got there. Elusive's for the win. 2 0. Okay, there's Karma. We couldn't play three in a row of non Karma or Trundle. Gonna get that lucky. This is gonna be difficult. Yeah, they have a they have a lot of very easy ways to kill Fizz. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Because, like, Withering Whale, we can't stop. Darkness hides in my path. Hmm. Whatever the cost. I'm coming in! So, like, doing this. Even though I don't have any other protection for Fizz, but you know, if they have like one damage things, like a one damage thing isn't gonna kill the Fizz. Seriously? Sapling toss? We're just playing sapling toss now? Okay, I guess. Okay, 
was thinking that they were going to have another one of those. Alright, so Diana would cost two. So we'd have five other mana. Keep Pocket Aces, Guiding Touch or something. Light flowers upon my blade. Because of course I want to play Diana. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish, Moon Sister. For truth. Face your heretic. How's this gonna do? So different ways we can do this. Let's do... Let's heal this. And... Oh. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. I guess we're just doing that. Come. A new phase awaits. Never mind. I don't know why I was thinking I was going to be able to play that Pocket Aces again, so obviously I, I could not. Bunch of warning shots. As long as we don't die right here, which it looks like there's a good chance that we're dying right here. here. Yeah, the playful trickster play is, you know, it'd be a little weird with uh, like when to cast it. You know, like you have to cast it before. You know, like you attack and cast it before they block or anything. I was I was hoping that they would play something and then I'd be able to playful trickster. Um afterwards we live here fear not death no fear oh come on come on so one life means unspeakable horror kills me i can i can hush this thing gain another life i guess i hush i can gain two life Cause i can just block over here now no longer we're at three. Okay, they're just gonna take seven and you know let my warning shot do the job. No, that is not the case. So this would level up Fizz. Alright, we'll level up Fizz this way. Down to one. I know what lurks in the shadows. Basically, I wasn't scared of like any of their cards that would heal their nexus because we can't respond to them with the warning shot. Is the the problem with playing bat like the problem with playing Bastion there? You're saying, well, I could have just played Bastion and, and then just won like that because then you know obviously they couldn't kill the Fizz. But the problem with doing that is then then maybe they they play Withering Whale. Like, if I go Bastion, they play Withering Whale, I'm in a lot of trouble, because I can't stop Withering Whale from healing their Nexus for three. So that's that's basically why I never wanted to play the Bastion, and why I didn't want to actually, like, present lethal. So that's why I liked them going to one, and maybe they thought that they were safe, and so, like, they don't cast Withering Whale, they do something else. Because they're like, oh, well, I'll just cast Withering Whale. If I need to, I'll just fire it off. And so they think they're safe, so they go to one, 
and so then I warning shot them. All right, anyway, Draven Darius. Hush is actually probably pretty good against Draven Darius, but Cygnus going to be a little slow. I don't know. I don't know about the Hush. You know, like, it, we keep, like, the Draven from having the quick attack and surprise him a little bit like that. Is the one true light. I didn't want to play Solari Soldier right here. The horizon, the guilty will bear. <laughs> it's Draven time. Alright, shutting him down. Fears. We were peaceful once. Hold ready to Invisible to the ignorant. Explosives pride. Temperamental as moonlight. Find your own light. Alright, so we'll take dark. down the battlecaster. Okay, so we get a, a free block with the 3-1, because like the 3-1's about to die anyway. So we get this block in down. here. And then take the rest. Just taking 10. Which 10's quite a bit. Um, I'm not really that close to leveling up Diana and then getting another... You know, basically, I, maybe I should just trade away Diana also. Yeah, maybe we'll just trade away Diana. I could, you know, block and hush Draven. You know, block Draven with the 3-1, but I mean, might as well just kill the 4-3. So that they do have, like, Darius. Oh, Hush doesn't really stop Darius, though. I mean, it stops the Overwhelm from Darius. Oh, that's pretty good. Ugh! I should've done that first! If I would've done that first, then I could add Slippery Wave Rider and have Slippery Wave Rider at tune. And then I would have had uh, the ability to pocket aces still. We are one in the same sunshine. See, it's all it's all uh, thought out. So now playing the slippery wave rider, I get to have the elusive turned on there. He does have Overwhelm. Just block with my two Shade Stalkers and I should be good. Attacking. Yeah, I guess might as well play Sprayfin first. Hey, sure. Hand? Can't say no to fizz. Might as well. Alright, GG's. Four and O. Oh. Man, Fizz is just good. Ooh. This is gonna be a tough matchup. Because they are faster than us and have good removal. So this could be tough. 
All right, don't need the hush. We'll keep these other ones. It's possible I should be mulliganing Guiding Touch, like I just don't have time to play that card. Yay, Fizz. I have my orders. Ours is the one true light. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and attack. Follow the horizon. And I guess I play Fizz. Fizz is late. Yep. Probably better to play Fizz than do nothing. We really don't want to see misfortune. Fortune favors the bold. It's not good. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. So we're gonna try to use Mentor the Stones with Diana to kill misfortune. The guilty will bear. I think that's my plan. If they didn't have the misfortune and just attacked out, I would have I would have actually blocked with Fizz with having the backup Fizz. I would have been fine with backup Fizz. I will right, we'll play that to be able to turn on the Nightfall. So we had to do something, and I think that's probably better than Guiding Touch. <clears throat> Alright, so let's say they have Noxion Fervor. If I if I if I just attack like this and pump up Diana to be a 4-4 challenging misfortune, they use their misfortune, Noxion Fervor, kill my fizz. Um and, and you know, I do have a backup fizz, but that that does make this fizz a lot smaller, and that's that's pretty annoying. So maybe I just challenge here, let them keep misfortune, and pump this thing up to being a 6-5. Or 6-4, sorry, 6-4. Where now a Noxion Fervor doesn't kill the fizz, but gives us a, a faster clock, like where we can combine that with Playful Trickster. Also combine that with, um, with the gems. Right, so like now we have all these gems for the fizz. And so we should kill them next turn. We play Astral Protection on their turn. And then on my turn, we have Playful Trickster with Fizz. So, double Playful Trickster. We'll, we don't have the mana for that. But as long as we don't die here, um, however, they are attacking for a lot. Time for violence. Um, think about blocking with Astral Protection. Yeah, definitely block. I guess I should just block this thing. It does more damage to me. Because I don't need to worry about them killing Fizz, because I just use Guiding Touch and save Fizz. So, you know, like, we, I won't play a gem, even though I guess gems would get this thing up to being healed, but we'll just pass priority for now. Let me just save the spell mana for next turn. You wanted rough. Okay. We're gonna go gem. Go seven. Gem. And so now I have like one trickster and I have either guiding touch or another gem. So it's gonna be nine, ten. Um, fizz is ten power. If I play the gem and they're at twelve, I'd want it to be at eleven power, of course. Come a new phase away. I cannot turn back. Alright, we're just gonna go like this. If they wanna take all 11, I got warning shot. They don't wanna block here. So I'm I'm happy with that. You and me, let's go. One priority. Pretty sure Fizz has this one. Oh no! Fizz doesn't have this one. Oh no. Well, that's really bad. No more lies. Why are you here? 
Alright, let's draw let's draw another warning shot. Yep, let's just draw another warning shot. Or a spray fin that draws a warning shot. So, you know, we have our other two warning shots, we have our spray fins that could draw a warning shot. Remember the objectives. Lock the doors. That's our fourth fizz. Fizz number four. Must be down to one. Warning shot. This is only removing an attacking ally from combat. So, you know, we don't get to, like, remove one of their attackers. We can't just remove an ally from combat. You know, can't be blocking. So we don't get to rally. wonder if I could have done something differently. I guess I, I think I could have played both rallies. Right, like, if I just don't play any spells first, I had eight, I think I had exactly eight mana, so I could have played both rallies. Um, but then, oh, let's see, because I drew Warning Shot, right? So I could have gone Warning Shot to give, that would have gave Fizz Elusive, and then I would have been able to attack and rally. So I guess that's what I had to do, is not play any of the gems. See, they're at 12. So I need to not play any of the gems. Which was like my first instinct, which I played like immediately first. Before I even thought about it. Spray fin. I would have just not played a gem and then just played warning shot, attack, rally, attack, rally. But yeah, maybe they would have been able to kill Fizz at that point with Noxion Fervor and, and Spray fin. Yeah, I guess <clears throat> I guess they would have been able to kill Fizz. Because I, I wouldn't have had any other protection for Fizz. But there we go, GG's. We'll still take a nice 4 and 1. Super close there to the 5-0. Uh, yeah, Fizz, Fizz is just pretty impressive, right? Yeah, you know, the last couple of times we played Fizz, Fizz Twisted Fate, last time we went we went 4 and 1, and now this time we're going 4 and 1 again. So just really impressive for Fizz. And then, you know, your Spray Fin, your Wave Rider, these cards are just awesome. Not sure about the Mentor of the Stones. I'm not sure Mentor of the Stones is better than just more spells, like more Pocket Aces, Astral Protection, that kind of stuff. It's easy to, to it's slow and easy to disrupt, but you know, it does have those gems and that's pretty cool. All right, but that's Fizz Diana. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.